Mr. Gentleman, welcome. A very interesting segment, something that I think a lot of people out there have been waiting for because people have constantly spoken about the fact that the, the phone market is now almost completely commoditized. There is nothing new that comes. It's only a gimmick that will make a phone stand out. So let's start first with getting a few views from everybody and we'll keep it short because I have lots and lots of questions. Uh, the phone has always, the smartphone has constantly evolved. Where is it right now and where do you think it will evolve further in the next few months? Well, uh, smartphones is now becoming intelligent phones. So the two new great technologies that's going to transform this industry is, of course, AI, artificial intelligence, and 5G. We have seen what 4G has done to the country today right. in terms of its usage. Mm -hmm. So we think AI and 5G is going to move the phones into something called intelligent smartphone. But let's then dive, uh, uh, you know, dive a little deeper into this. AI. All brands now claim their phone has some form of AI. Most people seem to think that it's not really anything that the phone is evolving and doing on its own. It's just pre-programmed to do it. Like some of them have, you know, just a little bit, you take a picture, it'll make the picture look a little bit better. What is true AI? If a customer is actually looking for AI on a phone, what should he look for? Okay, so let's first look at what is AI. I think a lot of people, a lot of brands have been talking about artificial intelligence and it's, it's becoming a common buzzword. Well, AI is about, you know, collecting data, computing it in a machine language manner to make your life easier. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? I, I know this is still science. I'm going to explain it a little bit. Okay. Uh, the usual thing that we do with phones is about taking photos. So whenever we want to have an uh, outdoor shoot or a, or a family party, what do we do? We call a photographer. And why? Because the photographer knows what type of ISO sensitivity he needs to choose, what kind of shutter speed or exposure based on the environment. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if your phone is this smart. I mean, we have put in a, uh, we call the Kirin 970 with a dedicated NPU. I'll tell you what that does. Uh, basically with the AI software on top of it, it transforms like a real human being and it sees those pictures just like how you're gonna see the pictures and it's gonna suggest you settings automatically for a low light or a party or a greenery or a portrait. So your phone would do all that for you. You show, you just have to point at a picture. It's gonna say what type of ISO sensitivity, what type of shutter speed, and throw up to about, let's say, 22 different scenes, 500 scenarios. And this is what uh, AI can actually do. So Dhruv, AI, uh, you think that uh, the example that was given out here, yes. photography is still its best usage case? It's an, I mean, extending computational photography is one of the major use case scenarios. That's one of the areas where you'll see major tangible benefits. But in, in my opinion, I think it's the smaller things like battery life or even increasing the longevity of your of the phone's battery. Right. That's also going to see major improvements where a phone is constantly learning how you're using it or how you're charging your device. And it's tweaking um, how the phone is being charged to, in, to just increase the number of battery cycles that you get. Right. I think things like these are also going to make a bigger improvement. Okay. I understand that AI on an image, the fact that it can actually take decisions for you. But then you've gone ahead and put AI as the frontier of your new chipset, the 970 as you spoke about. So what's so different, what's so special about the 970 with AI and otherwise that you think makes it a standout chip? Okay, so here I would like you to picture a smartphone like a human being. So um, what we're seeing here is, let's imagine you know, whatever the phone sees, the display or the lens is like your eyes and the, the processor is just like your brain. So we, start, we went through a recent research, a light speed uh, research. What, uh, what that research says is, your brain takes almost like 35,000 decisions every day for you. The respondents could only recollect 92 of them. A lot of things happen at the background and that helps you run your life. Now, why am I saying this? If you relate this to a smartphone, of course, in the case of a brain, it takes decisions based on the environment, your, your feelings, et cetera. But for artificial intelligence, you require uh, intelligent software as well as uh, onboard processing capability like the brain. So that's where we put in an onboard, we call it the independent NPU, which changes now the architecture of how processes have been. And that actually brings in a new leash of power. And that's what the Kirin 970 brings in for AI. Come up with one thing that AI still has not touched, but it could in the future. I think audio is, is one category which, which could do with a bit more improvement. Uh, there are efforts to, to fine tune 
uh, the sound profile according to you know, your I mean, the way that your ear hears it. But I think that's one area that could still do with some improvements. Okay, that performance is one aspect that we haven't uh, you know delved into deeply yet. I mean, a lot of it could be improved with just AI instead of just using the processing raw processing power to just compute processes. For example, you're somebody who plays a lot of games. It figures that out for you, and then it's a, it throws that kind of uh, you know power to all the gaming that you do and stuff like that. Let's talk about GPU. Is that going to be another evolution? Because still now people buy a phone based on many things. The smartphone is not just about cameras. It's also about a lot of performance, including gaming. Mm -hmm. And uh, interestingly, um, India is among the top five gaming markets. Uh, it's, it's US, China, Russia, Brazil, and India. And it's China and India that's growing exponentially. So one of the biggest challenges for graphic processing today is uh, the phone uh, heats up or it consumes more power. So uh, we, we broke down this particular, because you see augmented reality, virtual reality coming up. So the need for more power, the need for doing more gaming and uh, graphic uh, processing capabilities is, is increasing demand. So what did we do? We took some cues from another industry, which is the automobile. So uh, we understood, um, you know, turbo in the car industry where you have a cylinder that pushes in air into the, to, to, into the engine to increase the combustion and which you know, transforms the performance really well. Okay. So we actually brought that into our technology, into our platform, we call it the GPU Turbo. Oh, that's why it's called <laughs> the GPU Turbo. So, so is it actually doing all of that? Uh, well, uh, of course it uses uh, software and hardware together to uh, deploy this kind of an uh, impact. But uh, with GPU Turbo, you get 60% better performance uh, from the graphic uh, uh, processor. So you actually so, now have a phone coming out with the GPU Turbo. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, uh, this phone, um, the Honor Play, is actually coming up with uh, uh, two great features. One is our uh, Kirin 970 silicon on board, so the dedicated NPU. Um, I want to touch a little bit on that because it's quite important. Uh, like what we heard from the gentleman here, the dedicated onboard NPU does much more than just photography. So having a dedicated NPU can give you far more performance uh, when you have exactly AI what capability. Exactly you were talking about, that yeah. if performance can become part of the AI field. Yes. Okay, that's, that and, sounds and interesting. And adding to that, uh, the AI also does amazing stuff like, um, uh, like what um, we heard from the roof, the, um, when it comes to noise cancellation. So you're in a, in a very noisy environment. Let's take a beach, for example. The AI can now listen to the sound waves and nullify it so you get much better noise cancel calls. Now coming back to your question in terms of how it works with the GPU Turbo. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, today uh, we call it uh, M uh, MOBA, the multiplayer online, you know, battle arena games like uh, PUBG, which has already half a billion users across the world. I tried using it, trying playing it, and it, you know, it's very, very addictive. Now, um, with this phone, um, you know, the AI together with GPU Turbo, can give you a real life kind of experience with all those you know 4D uh, movements and you know vibrations and also you know uh, GPU Turbo can now give you a, a higher FPS and of course at the same time consume less power and the phone doesn't heat which is very important. Yeah. So we think the Honor Play with the uh, independent NPU, the GPU Turbo, is going to be an amazing phone not just for gamers but also in terms of top-notch performance. One of the use cases, of course, is gaming, but if generally, uh, you know, it can optimize performance and improve battery life to any degree. And keep cool while doing and it. I think that's, cool. a, that's, I think, a big trigger for me. The fact that any new game that releases on the Play Store and people are excited about it, for example, the Asphalt 9 right. uh, came about and people are excited about it, shows that, you know, uh, mobile gaming is actually booming and a lot of kids are, uh, you know, uh, college-going students who are actually buying these phones, they want to know if they can play a game at stretch for three hours because PUBG is not like a 20-minute session. It's a 30, uh, it's not like a five-minute session. It's like a 30-minute long session. So you're talking about your phone actually taking that kind of load if the GPU Turbo technology can actually take some of that load off and, you know, can do this, it's good. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It was absolutely and totally a great session.